Hey everyone, it's David Trasivi here again, and uh, today we're going to take a look at parallel nodes. I just had this really cool project um, for Holly Herndon, uh, directed by John Marisaldi and Matt Dryhurst. And what they were doing was they shot out um, in Death Valley, and they wanted to make this look like Mars. And uh, we got there in the color grade, it looks pretty cool. But we made a lot of use of uh, something called parallel nodes, and I thought it'd be a great chance to take a look at what they are and uh, how we can use them. Just to go over a couple things, because uh, I get this question occasionally, this board here is the JL Cooper Eclipse CX. And uh, I'm running just on a single, uh, I've got dual screen set up right now, but you can only see one. Um, so I'm going to try and keep all the information that we need on this one screen here. And um, I'm also going to try and use mouses, mouse clicks and uh, less keyboard commands so you can see what I'm doing easier. Now let's uh, dig right in. So what I've got here is a simple shot set up to kind of show you what parallel nodes do. And uh, real quick we can take a look at how to create a parallel node. So what you want to do is uh, you just press, let me create a new node, Alt P and you've got a parallel node. And uh, what these do is parallel nodes combine all these separate nodes right here into a single image right here. And you can use them a lot um, if you want to make several adjustments to a single shot without anything affecting something else. I use them a lot in this video because if you take a look at this, we start with something that, you know, is oftentimes very similar color, you know. She's the same color as the sand, which is not too different from the sky and everything needs to be brought into more or less the same color. We wipe out the sky, make it this sort of, you know, browny gray color, all this different sand and stuff gets wiped into the same stuff. So if we were to go with a conventional serial node scheme on this, we click quickly run into the problem where we run out of data to manipulate. So if we're trying to get nitty picky and just, you know, we want to just mess with this sand right here instead of this. Then once we've got everything looking this, the same, it's you know difficult to separate this with HSL qualifiers. So if we start with this original shot, which is a little bit more different in all the different colors, we have more flexibility over what we can isolate. Maybe we can adjust the sand, and then the dunes, and then this background, mountain, and then the sky, and do it all separately, and really bring it all in quickly and with little trouble without having to fiddle with denoising and trying to get all our HSLs right. So. Quickly here, I've got an example built showing you what exactly uh, parallel nodes do. So I've taken this shot and wiped out the background. So just to give us a blank white thing to work off of. And so I've got four nodes set up here. We're only going to focus on the first three at first, and I'm going to show you something else you can do with the fourth one. But for the time being, let's just focus on these three. And so what I've done is created a uh, auto save, a power window here. Um, that is just taking this offset, shifting it all the way to the red, and lowering the gain a little bit because otherwise it's too white. And I did it the same with blue, and then a green. And so what these are doing, any one you can turn off, and you can see they're combining with each other. And so that's what a parallel node does. It treats all these separate layers equally, and you can manipulate things on the background layer without affecting any other layer and uh, what that'll do is merge it all back into one node right here which is really great again for if you want to adjust something and not affect you know something else if you've got two very similar colors once you get it all finished but starting off they're different you can bring them quickly together without having too much trouble and then make fine adjustments on them later uh, if you want to go back okay so I've got all these three parallel nodes enabled and the fourth one isn't enabled right now and uh, you can see it connects here to the bottom section and uh, what I'm doing with it is it just basically wipes everything out so for the time being it's ending up with you know just this little bit because again this is just balancing out everything and I've got it brightening enough that it wipes out these extra little bits um, so let's disable this whiteout here for a second and you can see this is our original shot and I've got our three power windows here red, green, blue, and then this bottom node is wiping everything out white. What we're going to take a look at now is something you can do with parallel nodes. So, 
Parallel nodes, again, treat every single node as an equal one that mixes all together. But we can right click this and switch it to something called a layer mixer node. And what a layer mixer node does is it gives precedence to this bottom node here. So if I turn this one off, it's like there's nothing on this. And when it's on, it wipes out everything else because this node is more powerful than the others. So just for a second, I'm going to delete this node link. I'm going to delete this first node link. And I'm going to retie this, grab it here, and put it up here on the first node. And I'm going to take the red and do the same on the bottom. And you can see now that this really should be up here. And this red one goes on the bottom now. And so you can see with this layer mixer node, this white isn't affecting this red, green, blue at all. In fact, if we turn this on, you can see we've totally changed how these three circles interact. They're no longer mixing. The red, because it's on the bottom, is on top of the green. The green, which is in the middle, is on top of the blue. And the blue right here is on top of just the white. And I can turn this off and on and we can play with it, but that's the difference. If I switch it back into parallel node, you can see, once again, they're all mixing. Switch it back to layer node, right on top of each other. So you could use this layer mixer node, say if you have a pretty dramatic grade in the background, but you wanted to save someone's skin tone. So you HSL the skin tone and apply that on the lower node, and you can still have your perfect skin tone, even with, you know, say dramatic teal and orange grade. So let's go back to the actual shot here and take a look at what we're doing with these parallel nodes in action. So this is what we start with. It's a great shot already, um, but that sky is way too blue. We've got a little bit too much light here in the foreground and the background could use a little bit of contrast. So we want to bring everything in together. So what I've done is this first parallel node up here is my general balance one, which is just to add a little bit of color and play with the levels a little bit. Immediately I jump into this ground. And so what I'm doing here with these qualifiers, it's it's a, a dirty dirty qualify. Um, and I know that. And uh, a lot of that is because we were on a time crunch with this, so it is what it is. But it gets the job done, and that's what's important. And the big thing we're doing here is shifting um, some blue into the shadows with these log grades, and then some red-orange with the regular primaries and uh, it looks a little bit messy right now but as we add everything on it looks good then uh, we adjust these mountains here to get this contrast back in line with this ground suit stuff and uh, add the color there that needs to be and so this is a qualifier just selecting these mountains here and a little bit extra and then here's the big one the sky so we select just the sky and we kiss it over to that Mars sky that we're looking for. And all of a sudden, we're quickly on Mars. Everything from here is just a matter of a little bit of balance on our actor. We add a little bit of green to it and uh, brighten the sky up. This is actually grabbing all the highlights here. It's just a highlight qualifier and uh, adding a little bit of punch to them. And that's it. So, I mean, that's a very quick grade. This takes one or two minutes to do. And you get something like this from this original shot. And it's super easy, super fast, and a lot of that is because of these parallel nodes. And we'll take a look at this one real quick. I don't have it set up, but um, just to turn off all this stuff. So here, first thing I've done is grab the sky and bring that in line a little bit. Then the sand, we went a little bit too red with that initial thing. Uh, this one here is great, a great example. So you can see these mountains are all pretty similar, especially in the original shot. And with this parallel node, we're able to select, you know, just this and shift everything the color it's supposed to be. Whereas if it had been serial, when we grab this, we were probably going to grab the sky or some of these node or these dunes here. Um, we got one more sky and balance highlights on the dunes and then fix this little weird thing the anamorphics are doing over here and we're set. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's parallel nodes in a nutshell and it's a great tool uh, it's when the situation calls for it. 
So places like this where you've got a lot of similar colors that you're ending up with or that you're starting with, Parallel Notes lets you mess with everything very quickly without much hassle. And uh, check out the video. It's uh, on Pitchfork. I'll link it. Uh, it's a great track, great artists, great directors, shot by Jake Uris, edited by Chad Sarahina, great team. And uh, thanks for watching.